Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Licks. I hope you're all awesome. On today's video, I'm gonna break down some parts from the new Ragdoll single, Sky's Limit. I'm just kind of vaguely gonna sketch out what's going on in the song. If you want a full transcription, it is up on my Patreon, which is linked in the video description. And if you just wanna check the song out, I have linked the Ragdoll Bandcamp page in the video description as well. Let's rip straight into it and I'll see how far over five minutes I actually go with this explanation. <laughs> get started, I'm in drop C tuning. So from low to high, C, G, C. That actually creates a big chunky C power chord, which I make a lot of use of in the song. Then the top three strings are F, A, and D. I'll play you the intro riff, which essentially serves as the main riff of the song with some variations to it that I'm sure you'll be able to pick up on. It goes like this. <laughs> So what I'm doing there is playing these one finger power chords on the low three strings, fret five, open, and fret three. Then I'm adding fret two, three, and two on the fifth string. Uh, just a quick note as well, I'm just gonna call out fret numbers and string numbers, basically because I'm not in standard tuning and I don't want it to be too confusing. So the first little chunk is this. <laughs> The next chunk is essentially the same with a different ending. I play this chord, which essentially is a big old power chord with the droning second string on there. So it's three, 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 five, and then the open second string. I love the way this sounds. The next part of the riff, you just play the first part again. And then there's this kind of little tag on the end where I play the open low string, fret one on the low string, fret three on the fifth string. Then I play the open low string again, fret three on the low string, and then it's back to that three on the fifth string. So. where there's some really sweet sounding chords in here. The first chord in there, I'm down at the first fret on the low three strings. Then I've got the third string open and I've got the third fret of the second string. I'm gonna keep that open third string and third fret of the second string droning for the next chord where I basically just take these notes and move them up to the third. So these are the first two chords of the chorus. <laughs> Next chord, I'm gonna play the fifth fret on the low three strings. With my middle finger, I'm gonna play the fifth fret of the third string, and we're gonna have an open second string. So this. <laughs> The second time through, I'm gonna repeat that all fives trick at fret 10. For anyone curious, the chords here, as they're actually played in this tuning, this is a D flat major seven chord. This one is an E flat six nine chord, and this one is an F add 11 chord. <laughs> Basically, I'm using the Phrygian dominant mode. So we're gonna start with this little melody here, which goes. <laughs> so 
So it's fret six to eight on the second string down to fret four on the third string. That is the dominant seventh note, the root note and the major third. That's where you're getting that dominant sound from. Then we've got fret five on the fourth string back to that major third note, then five, three on the fourth string. Then we're down to fret five on the fifth string. And we come back up three, five on the fourth string. So again, <laughs> My favorite part of the whole solo is the next little part where basically you play a major triad. So that's root third fifth. Then we're gonna go up to the flattened sixth, which actually kind of creates like an augmented sound. Cause I go. Then it's the flat seventh up to the root with a bend and the fourth up to the fifth with a bend a little bit of an overbend and then finish that part on the major third at fret four. So. The next part of the solo and the finishing part is what I like to call pentatonic madness. I never play this the same way twice because this was kind of recorded as a worked out part and then just a vibey, crazy pentatonic thing. But the general outline is to stay on the second and third strings with the minor pentatonic scale, kind of move it up until you get up the octave. There's a couple of licks that I do all the time around the blues scale. Uh, I'll very, very briefly show you what I'm thinking while I'm playing this. Again, this is more of like a roadmap than an actual solo. So this stuff is all coming from the minor pentatonic scale here. Then we've got a blue scale in here where I'm playing fret 15 up to fret 18 on the B string and you're coming down to the blue note on fret 14. Just basically tremolo pick and let that one rip. Then this combination of the Dorian mode and the blue scale, so these notes. Very important thing here is to take this note here and bend it by a whole tone so you get the major third at the end of the scale. Like I said, this part is a roadmap and it always changes, but I'll try and play the whole solo. Having a wah really helps here as a cheat code with some extra gain and delay. <laughs> Maybe slightly longer than five minute licks for all of this, but I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Like I said earlier, the tab is up on my Patreon. The single is available on every digital streaming platform as well as on our Bandcamp if you like it and if you want to support us directly. Thank you to everybody who continues to support my channel and thank you for watching this. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comment section below or you can come and chat more about it on my Discord server. Hope you have a great day. Steal plenty of these licks, go and incorporate them into your own playing and hopefully this inspires you to go and make some filthy guitar noises. I'll see you next time. Cheers.